All right. Welcome so, to, <laughs> oh. to Welcome to Blizzard Warning number 11 at SSU here. We have TVP versus Mel, and this is Versal and Sea Drive competing for you today. And we are seeing Mel playing his apocryphal Lucina, and TVP going to the Little Mac, which he pulled out last Blizzard Warning. Um... TVP knows how to do Little Mac. He knows the fact that, like, shield is Little Mac's friend. You just need to throw out tilts when they hit your shield. Because he's got a deceptively large reach. But uh, Mel's got a pretty good edgeguard game, and he's pretty um, confident in the Lucina. He uses it quite a bit. He's, he's mainly a melee player, so Lucina is sort of the closest to a melee sortie that you can get. That was really risky, and that's the sort of thing that, like, unless you play a lot, most players would not bother doing against the little Mac. It's just too risky. Ooh, that forward smash though. KO and punch now he got the KO. Oh. Did I miss that? Yeah, it, it, Mel probably could punish that better with like a sliding uh, forward smash, but um, th this is something where it's just like you just don't have the ability to practice this matchup in melee. Yeah. And uh, that was a really bad... Uh, <laughs> Uh, what's it called? Um, counter at ledge. Because, like... You can just wait and charge. Yeah. Oh! Ooh, that was a... Unfortunate no tech from uh, TVP. Could have made it back to the tech. Um, interesting dancing blades. It does prevent him from getting hit at ledge and thus gets set back to center stage. But, uh, still took a hit. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yep. Um... Could have probably gotten a better punish from TVP, but uh, still got a punish, so better than nothing. Yep. Edge guarding allowed with a Dombi. Try to get that Where super armor. Good counter. Doesn't get a retaliation hit on it. But... Oh, but. Yep, just just Not throwing out that forward smash. Uh, and this is by no means end of match. It's close. All it needs is one KO punch to end this right now, but. Uh, Oh. Ooh, and there it goes. Yep. Sending him off the stage. Yeah. No, like, this is the thing when you're playing against the Little Mac. If you get flustered, it's very easy to uh, play a bit too cautiously against the KO Punch. Because the KO Punch has threat if you uh, if you play too cautious of it. A good Little Mac will just sort of herd you into less and less options until finally they just know that the KO Punch will likely hit. Because at a certain point, um, you just don't have enough options. You either have to commit to a, an option that uh, Little Mac can just punish with some of his strong ground game, or you're going to go into the air and then be forced to fall down into a KO punch, in which case then you'll just... It, it's, a, it's an air dodge rate, a 50-50. Yes. And now they're flying at Yoshi's Island. See if this changes up things a bit. Mm. I don't know if this is... <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's just disrespectful. Don't go taunting in the middle of a fight. Um, but this stage, I don't know if this is necessarily the best pick for Mel. Yes, there are platforms um, that he can use to shark if he gets a little Mac on top of the platforms, but as it is, it doesn't look like he's like really winning neutral enough to justify it. And plus, the uh, vertical walls of the stage um, can, actually, can actually keep uh, Rayquan alive because little Mac does have a wall jump. Bit of an unfortunate forward smash there, a little bit too early. Counter to avoid the third hitter jab. And that's dead. Mm -hmm. Not making it back from that. <laughs> um, is the best with the match. It's better than it is it's a little bit better in some regards than it has been since four, but at the same time it's also pretty Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, just just uh, super armor through the forward smash, but then step through the forward tilt so I don't actually hit him with it. That's fine. This is fine. This move is fine. <laughs> just snap the ledge, but can't yeah. do a uh, get-up attack there. Even if uh, Rayquan didn't space that properly, just doing a forward smash. Can't just super armor through it and still get the kill. And KO Punch is online, just need to good Ooh, hit there, and that's yeah. not coming back. So it takes out KO Punch and has the stock advantage. And uh, looks like the counterpick is working out for Mel, but uh, I don't know. I guess it's just uh, the exception rather than the norm. Good use of the platforms, though, to try to keep away from uh, Little Mac, keep the pressure off when he needs to. Yep, he's also doing a pretty good job at just spacing his attacks. Oh, yep. at some point. 
good ed edge guard, takes second game. Yep. Um, it does beg the question if whether or not, uh, <laughs> whether or not TBP will, uh, do a character switch now at this point, or if he'll stick with his guns. Because, uh, I do know TBP plays a lot of characters, and it looks like Mel might have a read now on it, but based on the stage pick, it might still just be another little map. Could see a Falco, though. Now take a Lucina and jump into Earl. I have never seen him play any of the Richter people, so are not, not the Belmont, Belmont brothers or whatever their names. Not oh, brothers. Like Kirby. Kirby. Okay, that's uh, definitely relying on matchup unfamiliarity because Kirby loses this matchup pretty badly. It does. <laughs> Kirby's super up close and personal, but Lucina is a lot of space right there. To be honest, like, once you become good enough with, like, spacing with Lucina, Mark is a bad pick either. Eh, it, it's, it's debatable just because of the fact that against some matchups, you just won't have the ability to space it as well. Marth really excels in matchups where his ground speed will uh, allow him to keep that distance. But if he can't keep that distance, then um, he's just going to have too much pressure on his face. So he needs to play, play ooh, footstool. Oh, that was weird. I could have sworn that sword went oh, right through. Oh, I the time. Yeah, that, we that's, got that. We, we, we know that's happening. <laughs> um, like, this is still not over, though. Mel had a pretty commanding lead over most of that first stock until that unfortunate moment. But, uh... No, like, I all, 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 all Mel needs to do is just stay. <laughs> Trying to do that again, you know? I think it, so. it, it was the right idea, and he still gets the stock anyways from the forward match, but it was a little bit risky for my taste. But it might have been necessary because he needs to show uh, TVP that he's not afraid of the offstage, to provide offstage pressure. Because Kirby's recovery is not great. It's pretty much vertical, very little horizontal distance, and. Um, it's, it's surprisingly susceptible, despite what people think. Like, yes, the up B is scary, but, um... Once you bury it out, then it's really easy to punish. Yeah, there's a, few, there's a few parts that are just not as dangerous about it. Like, um... If you can somehow get behind him when he does it, then there's no hitbox you have to worry about whatsoever. Ooh, that's a bit of a high recovery. Oh, Good the counter nice. saves... That, would, that saves him, because that would have dragged him down otherwise. Um... Good, good down air uh, there. Uh, the only thing that's keeping Kirby's recovery means it's okay is his multiple jumps. Oh, but getting hit by Dolphin Slash or anything stage. How does that work, actually? Uh, okay. Dolphin Slash actually has a pretty large disjoint, which is why it will hit you through the stage. And it's also pretty fast. Good up B. Um, comes up fast, has some um, intangibility frames when you activate it. Um, so you won't get hit by anything and you can't get grabbed by anything during it. And so you have a hitbox out without having any actual uh, um, uh, hurt box to get hit with. So... Ooh, getting that down air. Good weight on the down air. Um, you can afford to, especially as Kirby, to just sort of wait for an offstage option. And we're on last stock for last game. Um, Mel doing a pretty decent job in the matchup, and but TVP is uh, still keeping it pretty close. All it takes is one good Kirby uh, mix-up, and uh, it is possible to then just take the stock out of nowhere like that. Ooh, it's de it's deceptively hard to punish the upbeat if you're not going to get a parry off of it. But uh, yeah, you can punish it with like a forward tilt or a jab, but an F tilt is just a little bit too slow for Lucy. <laughs> it's coming down to the wire. Mel doesn't want to throw this away. Just keeping the uh, stage pressure, keeping neutral. Trying to not give up center stage. It's really close. Like <laughs> he, he's, he's giving up uh, room whenever TBD does the upbeat because he doesn't want to get too much percent. Ooh, that was a risky air dodge. Right. It's unfortunate for TBP that the... Uh, oh, back air? Oh, not, not quite. Not take it. Still just a little bit uh, oh, he's too playing far very side. careful, though. Not letting go off stage anymore for when he could be mixed up. Good overshoot there. This is the dangerous situation. Oh, that could have oh. been really bad. 
Mel, Mel's sort of fallen into his old habit of down B when he expects a uh, recovery, but uh, oh, double spot dodge. Uh, like I mean, not, you know, but got that dolphin snap going again. This is they're both playing very careful. Yeah, a bit of mom's spaghetti actually. They're not willing to commit to anything. Oh, good uh, up tilt takes it. Uh, very Mel does match, but Mel yeah. will take the match. L little bit, uh, little bit of ca uh, overly cautious play in my opinion at the end there, but um, Mel still takes it out with that uh, up tilt. Um, does beg the question of why TVP thought this was the character switch, but it didn't go too, didn't go as badly as it could have. So good effort on his part. Um, hopefully, see him back again, and that he doesn't go back into retirement. Haha, <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But, uh, so yeah, Mel moves on, 2-1, and, uh, yeah, so C-Drive, and, uh, Versal, signing out.